hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is naima Fudu. i'm based in kaduna state nigeria if you're new welcome and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back to my channel so i posted a video about my divorce story and someone in the comment section asked me so many questions i feel deserve answers and i just said okay let me make a video she actually requested i make a video concerning those questions and i said why not i've been reading it from my phone so she said just starting the video but can you please do a video around polygamy in nigeria and being a second or third wife and the pros and cons and the reason well before you got married you favored that i think she's trying to say why well, i thought about getting married to a married man or to an already married man and whether after your marriage you still feel the same or you have changed your mind around polygamy i think this is such an interesting topic of course it is actually an interesting topic and you do not really hear the second or third wife's perspective true you only hear from first wives because subsequent wives have been blackmailed to keep quiet about polygamy the society has made it be like they've snatched someone, someone's husband. Most times you see subsequent weddings are done hidden and you see the husband may not even inform his family or his friends the way he would if he was taking a first wife. So I think it's all part of why subsequent wives do not really talk about their marriages or do not really talk about their experiences and all of that. Can you also touch on how you felt entering another woman's marriage and if you feel like you're spoiling someone else's relationship by allowing yourself enter the marriage as typically women don't like to share and i'm assuming that even though in islam it is allowed first wife might still be upset we would love to hear your perspective on all of that especially as a non-muslim so this person asking this question is a non-muslim so i had i think about seven questions from just this one comment and I feel it is worth making a video for the question. So the first question is polygamy in Nigeria. First of all, I grew up in the North, Kaduna State. I was born and brought up in Kaduna State. And if you know Northerners, you know polygamy is absolutely normal to them. They don't discriminate as much as those from the southern part of Nigeria do polygamous women or polygamous men and so i think maybe that was one reason why it was so easy for me to just pick interest in polygamy because any family you go to the man has to have at least two wives some three and four and you see them living peacefully at least what they show us so polygamy in nigeria is is a normal thing in this part of the world in this part of nigeria so being a second or third wife even though yes she my the first wife definitely would get upset and all of that which is absolutely normal but i wouldn't say my marriage being a polygamous marriage was the reason or had anything to do with my marriage hitting the rock his marriage with my co-wife is absolutely different from marriage with me we were not living together so there was nothing to fight over there was nothing to to beef each other for but the four months we got married i would say we met maybe twice or three times and those three times were not in her house neither we did in my house maybe we had an event outside a family event then she would be there and i would be there and that is where we meet but visiting me was not it myself visiting her was also not it even though as i sat there we were trying to create that um relationship that friendship between us but then again it is what it is it never worked out the third question she asked about the pros and cons of polygamy i would say polygamy has so many pros and so many cons for me i feel the good side overweighs the bad side just depends on the perspective or the angle you are seeing it from i feel most 100 percent of the bad side of polygamy has to do with emotions the first wife feeling the second wife is trying to snatch her husband and the second wife feeling the first wife is in control of her and all of that everybody has his or her own insecurities to deal with in polygamy you feel okay this subsequent wife is a new wife to your husband so she would have his heart to herself why you as a subsequent wife would feel okay this man has been with this one for the longest time we both understand each other more just depends on how you are able to treat it and how you're able to handle it as a woman and also as the man of the house plus like i said polygamy has so much pros and cons 
So for that, I would be posting a whole video concerning the pros and cons in polygamy from my perspective. I am not saying this is the manual to how it is or how it is supposed to be. It is my experience and I am sharing what I think, what I experience and what I feel concerning polygamy. The first question is, why did I choose polygamy? Like I said, polygamy comes with so much benefits just depends on how you choose to see it one good side of polygamy that i love and adore so much is the fact that i would have my me time i am not someone that wants to have a man in my space all the time i am not fighting for your man i'm not dragging any man with you i'm not dragging any human being with you so the times he won't be in my house he would be in her house i would use it to work on myself improve myself like self-development and all of that i cannot be in the kitchen all this for a man that is just the truth i'm not someone that would i'm not domesticated let me use that word i'm not someone that would always want to keep the house clean always want to cook for her man and all of that so i think that is one major reason why i married a man who is married already and the second reason is a married man is assumed to be financially stable to an extent which i got in my ex and lastly getting married to a married man i felt um would make him more experienced he would be an experienced person because he has a wife at home he has a woman at home he has been married to for some time now so he would definitely have that experience on how to treat a woman better Wrong. fifth question is she said do i still feel the way i feel about polygamy to an extent yes on the other hand no let's say 80 percent yes and 20 percent no why because i still feel i can get all of those aforementioned qualities i want in a man one being financially stable to an experienced man and three having my me time as a woman in a polygamous marriage on the other hand i feel as a subsequent wife you have so much work to put in in your polygamous marriage especially when you want to live in peace with your wife if you are coming with the abido sheka vibes and this thing it's absolutely fine because you know if she brings peace you give her peace if she brings war you give her twice of the war she brings to the table but if you're just there to make peace with the first wife then you need so much to put in so much effort to put in because she would definitely get on your nerves she would intentionally do things to hurt you as she's hurting so she would want you to also feel her hurt you just have to be patient with that which i feel there is no need to be patient with her like why do i have to be i'm not married to you in the first place so why do i have to be patient with you i'll be patient with husband and i'll be patient with his wife again it's not going to work so i feel that is one aspect of polygamy that i got to realize and i'm not ready to subject myself to again and then secondly except in rare cases where the man is a very mature person a person that can differentiate between okay this one is someone i've been with for over 10 years now on the other hand this lady is just someone i'm trying to know so i should understand that treating them would definitely be different now let me explain your old wife you are so familiar with her you know her likes you know her dislikes well on the other hand you know if you're just getting to know her so assuming your wife likes so so thing and then you just assume okay your second wife too would like that one too it will definitely cause problems for you in your marriage expectations you expect how you expect your subsequent wife to tolerate whatever attitude you give to her, whatever treatment you give to her, just because the first wife does um, accept it. So, so many expectations on the husband's part that the subsequent wife may not be up to. That you're treating your first wife badly and she's okay with it doesn't mean you treat a subsequent wife badly and she'll be okay with it if you ask me. So, I feel that is one aspect that makes my thoughts towards polygamy change a bit note i advocate for polygamy 101 percent also knowing and accepting the fact that your husband has been with this woman for the longest time like it's something that comes naturally that you would have to fight yourself for so i think so many things also come with polygamy that people do not really talk about except those that are experienced or those that have um experienced it before so yeah it takes a lot for a polygamous home to work it takes cooperation for a polygamous home to work that is one thing for sure i know now it depends on if you want to have a peaceful 
friendship and interaction with your co-wife but on the other hand if you are not that person that wants a peaceful friendship with your co-wife you just want you guys to be there okay i know i have a co-wife i don't want anything serious to do with her then it's absolutely okay you need little efforts to put in because you guys not be meeting except in functions maybe family functions that's where you guys will be meeting i don't know if i have any problem with her i would need to transfer of aggression on the husband and the last question is she said how did i feel entering somebody's someone else's marriage yeah i at first i was feeling guilty even though i knew that is allowed I just had to be intentional to tell myself that okay he's also my husband at first i was feeling guilty about that how she would feel i considered her feelings i was so empathetic i put myself in her shoes to know how i would feel if i was in her shoes and i knew i wasn't going to feel bad so it made me a lot more patient with my co-wife I knew my intentions were clear and genuine. Look, I had I had little guilt to deal with at that time. I had to fight that mentality of okay, I am snatching somebody's husband. That I was getting married to my husband and not someone else's husband. That you got married to him before me doesn't mean I am snatching him from you. I just want to share him. So that was all what I had in head at that time, and it made it actually easier for me to do with polygamous marriage yeah so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like share subscribe and drop a comment in the comment section bye